Hi, good day everyone. This video is part two of Trading Crypto with OKX Platform series. In this lecture, we will learn how to deposit using P2P and local exchanger, how to withdraw fund, and how to make internal transfer between wallet. For other videos, you can check the complete links on the description below. All right, let's dive in. In this lecture, we will learn how to deposit to OKX. But before that, we will learn about the concept of depositing in cryptocurrencies. This deposit method applies to my country in Indonesia, but the concept is similar to each of your country. The first method is using banking and e-wallet. Okay, here's an example. Here's a client who wants to deposit to OKX. He wants to deposit rupiah, which is a fiat money, to OKX. In this case, we cannot transfer directly fiat money to crypto exchange. So we have two methods here. First is we use P2P trading, and the second one is we use a local exchange. So fiat money will be converted first using P2P trading and local exchange to crypto money. And then from this, it can be transferred to OKX. So Indonesian rupiah will be converted to USDT, and then USDT will be deposited to OKX wallet. What is P2P trading? P2P trading is a group of people, or we may say they're partners of OKX, who became intermediaries and their job is to transfer or convert between fiat money to crypto assets. So by using their services, we can transfer our fiat money from our bank or our e-money to them, and then they will buy the crypto asset and it will be deposited to our wallet. Minimum is only $1, however, they uh, set their own currency rate. So we have to carefully choose them. And one of the mandatory requirements is that the name of this person has to be the same with the account holder. And the drawbacks of P2P trading, they only have limited supply. And if you want to deposit in a big quantity, they cannot afford it because their supply is limited. And now we dive into the platform and let me show you how to use P2P trading. Here's the homepage of the mobile apps of OKX and you can tap the P2P trading or you can tap the main menu and select manage asset P2P trading. There are two options here to buy and sell. And in this case, I want to buy USDT. We can find so many P2P partners and we can choose which has good currency rate. So in this example, I choose DJ Exchanger. You can see the currency rate and also the availability. Availability is the supply. And minimum order is how much a minimum and how much is maximum you can order to purchase USDT using your fiat money. And here are the several methods you can use to transfer your fiat money to, to P2P partner. So here's another example. Uh, we have a mix with exchangers here. The currency is slightly, uh, relatively the same, and but the availability is much higher than the previous one. And the order limit is also higher. We select by tapping buy, and we can enter the amount of money we want to purchase USDT. We enter 2.5 million rupiah, and we will receive 159 USDT. Then we select the payment method. You can read, by the way, the terms and conditions of each P2P partner. And if you want to proceed, you can type buy. And within 15 minutes, you need to transfer your fiat money to them. Click buy and click confirm. Another option is you can uh, select based on payment method. In this case, I want to choose a payment method using uh, OFO. So I select OFO. Then you can see P2P partner which have OFO as their payment method. Another example, we can tap buy here. We enter 50,000 rupiah and you will receive uh, $3, 3 USDT. And then you can select OFO here and buy USDT and confirm. Then there will be a confirmation page like this. After payment using OFO, you can go back to OKX app and click I have paid and you can upload your uh, payment receipt there. You can check the deposit by uh, tapping the asset, funding, history. There you can see the $3 that I just deposited is already in the wallet. For the second method, we can use local exchanger. Local exchange is basically a regulated crypto exchangers. We can deposit fiat money to uh, local exchangers and then we can convert the fiat money to USDT and then we can transfer this USDT to USDT wallet in OKX. 
The main benefit of using local exchange is that we can deposit with big amount of money. Now here's an example how to deposit from local exchange to OKX. Tap the asset menu and then funding. We will transfer USDT in this case. You can tap USDT and select deposit. Then the next thing is we choose the network. My advice is choose the least expensive one and TRC20 is a good choice. Before depositing any fund, please check once again and make sure you use the same network from the originating wallet or else you will lose your fund permanently. Okay, now copy the deposit address and make sure it's using the TRC20. Deposit to funding wallet. After that, we switch to other application, which is uh, local exchanger apps. We select USDT and we draw. Then we select TRC20. And we paste the address to the field like this. And we enter the amount that we would like to send. The fee of using TRC20 is $1. And then we click withdraw. So now how to withdraw your fund from OKX? You can withdraw your fund using P2P trading with the exact opposite way. You can sell your USDT and convert it to your fiat money and then you can withdraw through a P2P trading. However, the drawbacks of using P2P trading is usually the limited supply. You cannot withdraw in a big amount. The second one is you can use the local exchanger the, with the exact same opposite way of depositing. You can transfer from your OKX wallet to local exchange, convert to fiat money, and you can withdraw your money from local exchange. Now let's practice using P2P trading. Go to main menu and tap P2P trading. To withdraw, we tap sell, and in this case, I will use a bank account here. Then you can select your P2P partner, tap sell, and I want to withdraw um, $10. We can check the status. <laughs> it's not online, but it's, anyway, it's okay. We tap sell. That's it, and we will wait until we receive the fund. Well, a few minutes later, he already transferred the fund to me. We can check uh, our bank account to confirm, and then we click release crypto. The next one, we will learn about a, a very important concept about internal transfer within wallet in OKX. There are three types of wallets in OKX. First is funding wallet, trading wallet, and grow wallet. So each of the wallet has their own functionality. Funding wallet is used for specifically for depositing and withdraw fund. And trading is for trading in spot and derivative market. And grow wallet is for DeFi, for example, for staking and simple earn, etc. Now let's take a look at example at funding wallet. If you deposit using P2P or local exchange, the fund will be landed in funding wallet. If you want to buy crypto assets, you need to move your fund from funding to trading. For example, you want to trade in spot or derivative market, you can do it uh, using the trading wallet. And for example, if you want to purchase a crow product or DeFi products, you can uh, purchase it via trading wallet. And then after you purchase, it will be automatically transferred to grow wallet. So your fund will be distributed into these three wallets each based on their function or usage. And the total fund will be consolidated in this overview. Now let's take a look at the example of internal transfer between wallets. From the main menu, you can tap a uh, wallet on the bottom right corner. From this overview, you can check the total of the consolidated fund. So if you look at here, uh, my fund $500, it's in funding wallet. Now, if I want to transfer it to trading wallet, we can tap this uh, USDT and then we choose transfer. We make sure it will be transferred from funding to trading wallet. Then we enter the amount, uh, let's say 200 USDT. Tap confirm, transfer successful. It's free and instantly 200 USDT move to trading wallet. If we take a look at the overview, the total is still 500 USDT. Now another example, suppose we want to purchase uh, products in uh, uh, in this DeFi, in the crew products. I want to stake in Simple Earn, for example, USDT. 
This USDT simple earn will give me around APR 10% per year. So suppose I want to purchase 200 USDT, then click OK. And then if we take a look at these uh, assets and we go to grow, there you can see 200 USDT purchasing simple earn in grow wallet. In funding wallet only left 100 USDT, but in overview still 500 USDT. That will be the end of part 2 of the OKX series video and on part 3 we will learn about trading in spot market. You can check the complete links on the description below. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on my next video. My name is Tommy Yu and see ya!